The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? Interesting. So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Oh. Hi. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. Ready, I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. We're to meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. Alright, when he... Oh, whoops. There's a talking. He said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power. What does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adewali about that. He believes the box can be activated to... Well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass blades in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. So it's How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. <laughs> But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. That was, uh, We're some almost talk. almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Chevalier is, um, is that hooded guy that's mean and stuff, right? Though he seems innocent enough. Whoa, what the hell? What's with that tear emoticon? Oh, is that meant to be like, yeah, it's an allied thing. It looks like a tear, so I'm like, wait, is the ship crying? Captains at sea! Oh. There's, um, guys here. Free hostages without being detected. Oh, it's this place! Well, I don't really care about that, but I may as well do it anyway. <laughs> so, let's get Berserk Dots. Ooh. Oh, that didn't work. I thought he'd ignore the hostages, but he didn't. Hey, Chevalier. Chevalier. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hands to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. 
My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Oh! Master Packer's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wounded friends. Nice. So this is going to be the swivel gun, or is this going to be better? Pocket gun. Hold shift to fire the pocket gun at weak points. Free aim the pocket gun using mouse. Fire! Ooh. Captain, I will join you on this voyage. Oh my god. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. Oh, that's Smith. Goes by. Oh, that's awesome. Aye, he sails these very waters. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. There it is. Fire. There he is. Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. They seen us. Give chase. Hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Um, yeah. Smart man. Out of his element here. Some of speakers have taken us treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's remitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? He out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Fire! You will destroy the box. through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a machine. This is not a game, cabbage farmer. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Ooh. I got a nice ram now. Nice. It worked. The way is clear. Now, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. It's Oop. an ambush! Off where you see Diablo not there! Smith must not escape! Fire! Fire! Ow. Ooh, defense ship! Why? Oh. 
So does that mean we take the ship? So it does. Okay, that's new. I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. That was uh actually pretty cool. There's Smith. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your demise. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Wickedness is this another Templar tactic? They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Take him some damage! Ow, 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 ow. Report! What's your status? Fire! Uh, didn't take it out. Wow. Wait. Where are we right now? Oh, we're up here. Awesome. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Assassinate Smith. John Smith. Mr. Smith. I don't know. Rope dart. Rope darts are equipped with a lethal grappling knife. Press F while above your target to assassinate. Hold F while above the target and use WASD to assassinate and hang him. While on the ground, aim at the enemy and press F to drag them towards you, then press... Um, and, well, left mouse button to strike them. Okay. <laughs> Haven't been here yet, obviously. So, we got new islands to check out. Uh, probably. Hey guys. This cannot be. No. Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. Cool. Mission complete. Oh, I was meant to kill him with an air assassination? Wow, they introduced the rope down and didn't make it one of the optional objectives. Burning oil. You can now drop the burning oil to damage ships behind you. Oh! Uh, look back look backwards and hold right mouse button to activate the burning oil aiming mode and use thing with you to aim. Press or hold left mouse button to leave a trailer file. That's cool. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why I couldn't drop explosive things. That's why. Okay, so we got a new island to explore. I'm not going to jump cut any of this. I'm just gonna try to speed it up as much as possible. 
So, is there a viewpoint on this island? No, there is not. That's actually kind of funny. Um, it's up here? No, I think it's in that cave. Yeah. And these are the last islands that I know of, besides New York, if there is any islands there. If this island's there, then I'm just going to kill myself. Because I've explored so many islands, I don't want to explore any more in this game. Oh, Nate Filler! Nice! Um, but I was bringing that up because I'm not, maybe these islands will have the last cave paintings in them. What the hell? Uh, what? Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. I didn't notice that before. Boom, boop. Cool. Okay, here's the chest. There's an animus fragment. Um, guessing I have to dive off that. I think there's a chest in here. Oh. Whoopsie. Time to get this native pillow. I think there's like six of these, if I remember right. Could be wrong. By the way, in case anyone's wondering, the reason I'm not jump cutting any of this is because I promised that I wouldn't, and there's not much islands anyway, so it's not like I'm looking at 20 of them, there's only like 5. So there's really no reason to jump cut any of this. It just means there's more gameplay. Uh, no. Boom, boom. Alright, so there's a blueprint. Most likely in that room I went to. Or not? Where is it? It might be up here somewhere. Also, when will I get, like, grenade things? Because they mentioned how shrapnel grenades can break through ice. But I don't think we've got that yet. Not even close. Yeah, right here. Do I have anything that could get through that? No, I don't. That really sucks. I'm missing out on two blueprints now. Oh, there's a cave painting up here? Or maybe below here? Uh. 
Ah, here it is. So it's 22. Um, there's one more chest. By the way, how much islands are there in this area? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6. I might actually jump cut going through them. Because I really just want to get back to the main story. Yeah, I think I will. I'll just do the normal, show the viewpoint, show the cave painting, stuff like that. After I get this chest. And just so I don't have to climb out of this area, I will fast travel. And then I can just fast travel back so I don't have to go through all the ice things again. Okay, jump cut. The precursor box. Oh. Smith's dead. Well done, Che. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Ligure Fool. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was necessary. But nothing. Smith was a dangerous man. A temper. What's worse, he had the precursor box. We should be proud of his actions. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Wardrobe and the fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to would be The Seagull Wassey reported that James Wardrobe proved that many tribes on the United States. We have proof that he's behind countless massacres. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the colonies. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purpose. When the law does not bend to him, he gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Mark my word, Shay. James Wardrobe's a bureaucrat. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. I sort of believe you. Alright, um, I just got an achievement. Cold icebreaker. Break through 500 meters of ice sheets. Cool. I mean, since we're piloting a ship, it's not that long. It doesn't take that long, but yeah. Anyway, where's the next island? Right up here. Oh, it's a shipwreck. I think. At least that's what my people said. It's a shipwreck. Yeah, it is. Interesting. HMS Sapphire Shipwreck. The Sapphire. This is quite hard to get up to, I must admit that, but I got up. Got up. Uh, lead heavy shot. Nice. What's this? Ooh, look at that. Is this what the artifact things are for? Collect all the relics to the secret location and uncover the legendary Templar armor. Nice! That looks sweet. I'm, I must admit that. That looks pretty sweet. <laughs> it's called uh, Louise Port. So that's pretty cool. So if I remember right, this place is called Harbor Deep. And supposedly it has guards around the area, so I find that a little confusing. I wonder if the areas the guards are at, like in restricted areas, because there's orange and red, obviously that means there's two different sides. Um, I wonder if that means this place is important somehow, or if it's just Ubisoft trying to make it a little harder for the player. I don't know. Oh god, so we're facing our first man of war pretty early on. 
not the best idea. He went off. Oh, is he fighting someone else? Oh! So we weren't facing our first man of war. I still want to face it. Alright, time for the man of war. I'm going to leave that schooner there just in case I need to heal. That didn't work out, that didn't work out, that didn't work out at all. I'm gonna back off. See ya. That didn't, that didn't work out very well. Oh crap, they sunk the schooner. I need to get through here. Stand too close to an exploding ice wall could cause lethal damage. Oh, don't worry, I know that. It's taking damage? From what? Well, I made it, thankfully. Elite Mortars, which I have not yet gotten, so it doesn't really matter to me. Polar Bear? It's gonna wreck my ass. Boomba. Yeah, Polar Bear. Nice. Another cave painting. Second last one. Only one more to go. Oh, are they teaming up? Or is it a war? The first humans. Oh, they created people. Okay. Now to see how long it takes to destroy these. Because these are huge. Fire! Just about three of them. 
and they respawn. Oh god! Lucky I've got a viewpoint here. It said this was the docking area. Yeah. What the hell? This place looks interesting. I'm not gonna jump on any of this. It just looks interesting. Doesn't look like other areas. Then it's the very northern place you can go. Oh, a netty pillow. Nice. Hey, hold a moment. No thanks. Stop you. <laughs> Only if you give me time. Ow. Really? I'm pressing F. Whoa, what the hell was that? He attacked his own man. Animus fragment over here. Like always, I'm a, co I'm a completionist, a collectionist, as I almost said again. Collectionist! That's what I am! Uh. Go on. There you go. And where are we going now? Up here? Dark. Ah, uh, not again. That's three. Ooh, I hear a polar bear. I hear a bloody polar bear. Where is this polar bear? There it is. Polar bear skin might be uh, needed for something. I don't understand why it tells you to focus on the native pillar. Yeah. Unless you can't read a minimap. There's the last one. Find all cave paintings. And what's that one called? Harmful th harmful things, yeah. Thought I read that wrong for a second there. Okay, so there's five sides this time.
Boom, bam. Isn't that handy? Okay. Well, I don't want to take that comma marker away. But I do want to find this sword. Ah, here it is. It wasn't glowing, so I couldn't see it. A good day's hunting. Yes, it is. Is this the thirteenth part? Yeah. Thirteenth. Uh, there is a blueprint. Let me see something. Um, does the market go away? Oh, it must be in the next area. It doesn't go away. Cool. I need to mark this blueprint so I know where it is. Oh, right, yeah, I know where it is. It's in that locked area. Well, let's go to River Valley and get that native armor. Because that's everything in the North Atlantic except for the treasure, which I will... Actually, no, I'll do the treasure first. So, I'm going to write down, as I usually do, as I did with the River Valley, all the coordinates for the treasure maps here, and then we're going to look for them. So, be right back. Okay, so the first one is at 591 negative 347 on an island called Har Harbors Deep. So it should be right here ish. Yep, right in. More fake land without anyone noticing. <laughs> Oop, that's uh should be ten of them, right? Oh nine, okay. Alright, so the next one is at seven two four negative one seven six on HMS Miranda Shipwreck. Here we are again. More fake land. Alright, the next one is at one, uh, 134, negative 736, uh, 39, and it's on Nerepis. Should be right around here. Alright, the next one is at 784, negative 480, on Terra Nova should be here here it is uh, is it this or is it up there okay so this one's at 374 I'm negative 482 and here it is. Cool. Alright, so this one's at 556, negative 591. Should be like right here. Okay, so this one's at 218, negative 56 on Havre Saint Pierre, and there it is in front of the cross.
they're all just like, eh, we don't care, we knew there was treasure there the whole time. Of course we did, why wouldn't we? <laughs> Alright, so this one, the last one, uh, at least the last one that I can actually get, is in the middle of nowhere, it's not in a city, it's actually down here, it's on 635, negative 446. At least if I got the coordinates right, it is. Um, okay, so it should be somewhere near a big tree. Just assume it's that one. Yep, here it is. And Boomba. 16 out of 24. Let's head back to the ship. And it's time for us to do two more things. One of them is the native armor, which I'm not going to do just yet, but I'm going to fast travel to the city that it's at. Um, so it should be here-ish. that. Did I notice this before? I don't think I did. That looks awesome. Okay. What I want to do before this though, is listen to those cave painting stuff. So, documents, cave paintings. Here we go. Time to go silent. In the first days of the world, the earth was covered with water. There was no light in the sky, neither sun at day, nor stars or moon at night. Under the surface lived the water animals, loon, kingfisher, otter, muskrat. They all lived in darkness, in the sky, the great spirit sat beneath the branches of a glowing apple tree with roots that sank into the clouds. One day, the great spirit called to his daughter, the Sky Woman. He pulled up the tree so she could look down to the earth. How can they live in such darkness and chaos? asked the Sky Woman. The great spirit replied, If you desire, you can bring them light and order. The great spirit gathered up the sky woman in his hands and gently lowered her down. When he let go, she began to fall slowly towards the earth. The water animals lifted their heads and looked up in wonder at the glowing woman in the sky. What will happen when she reaches the water? They asked one another. All the animals dove as deep as they could to find land. None could hold their breath long enough until finally Muskrat brought up a little bit of earth in his paws. A great turtle arrived and Muskrat put the earth on his back. The turtle grew and the earth multiplied until they became a great island which men now call North America. From beneath the water, the swans flew up 
to meet the Sky Woman. They caught her and carefully set her down upon the new land. The Sky Woman thanked the animals. Now I can give this land a spirit, she said. She then gave birth to twin sons. The son who was born first was born laughing and was called the Good Spirit. The son who was born second caused the Sky Woman so much pain that she died. He was called the Evil Spirit. The Good Spirit grieved for his mother, but he took her eyes and raised them into the sky so one could become the sun and the other the moon her tears became the stars this way the world would no longer be in darkness the good spirit buried what was left of his mother under the earth to nourish the soil all the trees and plants would grow out of her meanwhile while the good spirit worked in the light, the evil spirit did mischief within the shadows. The evil spirit crossed the land, moving from shadow to shadow. I will ruin everything my brother has made, he said. And so, when the good spirit made strong trees and swift deer, the evil spirit made poisonous berries and stinging insects. Finally, the good spirit took red clay from the earth and made humans. He taught humans how to speak and live together. The jealous evil spirit made himself servants out of sea foam. The good spirit saw that his creations heeded his words and were capable of wisdom. He wished that they might live forever in harmony. The good spirit saw the mischief that his brother did and knew that even his help would not be enough. He told his brother to stop making trouble, but the evil spirit refused. Knowing that his brother would respect only violence, the good spirit reluctantly challenged the evil spirit to combat. The winner would rule the world. The good spirit and his people united and triumphed over the evil spirit. He banished his brother to a cave beneath the earth. On the surface, though, some of the evil spirit's servants still wandered from shadow to shadow. Their influence causes men to do evil things. This is why there is still evil in the world. But people can also cast out this evil and find the good spirit within. All people can choose the path they follow. So that was quite interesting. It's like Ubisoft made their own religion. Oh, not really their own religion. Just their own thought of how the world was made and stuff like that. And honestly, I don't blame them. There's always a, there's always a possibility that the god is just the son of another one. So... Yeah, I liked that, actually. Even if people have their own religious thoughts, I liked it nonetheless. Progress further in the memory sequence to unlock new locations. I have the bloody keys! Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, fine. Someone probably shows me this, and then I can open it. Ugh. Fine, let's go back to the main story, then. Goddamn game. I have all the keys.